How you guys doing? It's Captain Spencer Clark. I uh, just want to give you guys a, a weekly fishing report on the fishing down here at uh, Lake Tanicomo and Table Rock Lake. I uh, had a couple guide trips the past week um, on both. Uh, we had a really good trout trip um, the other day. Caught about 40 trout. Uh, a little slow for me. Uh, a lot of times get out there, you know, I'm going to catch 60 to 70 trout. Um, but right now with the water, they're not generating a whole lot of current. So it's been a little bit slower. We're catching a lot of numbers still. Um, right now, the best baits um, that I'm finding on Tini Como are uh, the Berkeley Gulp orna uh, Orange Eggs. Those continue to work really well. Um, between those and a night crawler, I've been catching a lot of fish. Uh, it seems like I'm catching a little bit more of the brown trout um, with the night crawlers for whatever reason. Uh, they've been liking that a lot. Um, you can still catch some fish uh, throwing a white marble jig. That continues to still work. Um, a lot of guys, what we're doing is uh, catching catching some trout, drifting these scud rigs. Um, these are just some some scuds that you can get, uh, some scud flies that you can get over at uh, Lily's on the Landing. They got these. They can get you set up with these. And uh, I'll include a little diagram description of uh, how we're how we're working these but basically you're you know you can tie like two or three of these on at a time and uh, get a setup going to where you're just drifting and these little dudes are just bouncing kind of like on a like a glorified drop shot rig so to speak and you just kind of drift these in the current breaks we're catching a lot of good trout doing that um, as far as like up in the trophy area this is working really well along with that white marble dri uh, jig but Overall, I'm still catching quite a few trout, but it's still not as good as it was, you know, say about a month ago, just because we don't have as much current uh, going through Tini Como. Um, but it's making it a lot easier for people to fish from the bank because we, we just don't have as much uh, current. So you can kind of get set up to where you can fish a little bit easier if you're going to do it from the bank, like say if you're down on vacation, you know. But uh, obviously, if you're, you're coming down, um, try to get a guide. Uh, We'll make sure that you have a real successful day out there on the water. Um, love to take you guys trout fishing. But that's kind of the general report on the trout. Now the bass um, and the wall on Table Rock, uh, that has really kicked off uh, over the weekend, catching a lot of fish. Um, one of the things that <clears throat> sort of happened over this past weekend that I haven't really seen a whole lot is I uh, got into some really big schools of fish that were busting top water. Um, I just haven't really been able to find it too much, like uh, down by the dam on the main lake. But uh, I had a couple guide trips up in the White River uh, the past weekend. Um, Saturday we caught probably 40 or so bass, and we caught about five or six walleye. And then uh, Sunday the bass, they weren't as active, but we still managed to catch some real good ones. Caught a couple nice smallmouth, a couple really good spots. But we put the hurting on the walleye. We had um, some really nice walleye. We had like three that were over like 20 inches long uh, it's always a good day and that is some of the best eating fish that you can ever have uh, if you've never tried walleye before i uh, highly recommend it uh, once once you've had some good walleye some deep fried walleye um, pretty much everything is uh, secondary to that going forward um, it will really spoil you and you'll want to keep catching walleye and walleye but on table rock like i said we got some schooling fish going on to where they're busting shad a lot of this is going on around sort of the flatter banks. Um, in the morning, he's been doing really good. Um, working just a pop bar, like a topwater bait um, like this. Been catching some real quality fish. Uh, getting this going real early in the morning. Um, starting a lot of my trips at about, you know, 5, 5.30 a.m. Because there's about a two-hour window there that you can throw topwater and get some real good fish. And really, that's how I've been catching a lot of my bigger fish. Just kind of like on point bushes. Uh, where there's shad working those bushes. Um, once that sun comes out, um, you want to kind of move to a little bit more of a Ned style bait. Um, for whatever reason, this little uh, watermelon Cinco tidbit thing I'm doing here with this Ned rig has been catching a whole lot of fish. Uh, caught some real good largemouth this weekend um, working this thing. Just out some of those same areas that you're throwing that top water bait, you just want to kind of work this out to about 12 foot. Uh, not going super deep with this up in the river there. Um, and you'll catch a lot of fish doing this, uh, getting a lot of numbers doing that. Uh, if you can find the schooling fish where they're blowing up on shad, um, that pop R has been really well, has been doing really well. But 
Another bait that I've been throwing, uh, it's about the same size as the shad that are out there. Those little thread fins is this, um, just this little, uh, they call this like a little spin bait here. And uh, basically what you do is you take this, you put it on uh, just a spinning rod, um, about six to eight pound line, and you just work that, give this a long cast and try to get it out there where those shad balls and uh, those fish are blowing up on it and they'll eat this thing. Um, this has been working really well, just kind of counting it down, ripping it through those, uh, those feeding frenzies when they pop up like that. As it gets hotter, um, it's like been 100 degrees last couple days over the weekend down here. Um, things kind of slow down a little bit. The fish stop schooling. Um, you can go to a drop shot rig and catch a lot of fish doing that. Uh, now with the drop shot rig, um, I just been using just a small green pumpkin worm like this on anywhere from six to eight pound test. And with the drop shot, what I've been doing is finding these fish suspended. Um, had one good school of fish that we got into Saturday where the fish were in about 50 foot over 80. And we caught about 20 good spots doing this out there, just in the middle of a creek channel of a creek. Um, but they're not all that deep. Uh, had another good spot where we caught a bunch of fish and they're only about 12 foot and we were working our drop shot and actually sitting on top of them. I mean, I don't know, for whatever reason, you know, with the, the boat traffic, the fish, they don't pay as much attention to the boats. Um, a boat being over them as you'd think, um, you know, as long as you're in about 20 foot of water, um, you can get right over top of them with one of these drop shot rigs and catch them. But this has been picking up later in the day, like when the sun gets up and gets super hot and you're just not wanting to really get after it and fish too hard with some of these other lures. A uh, great thing to do to keep, keep the action going is just pick up one of these drop shot worms, just drop it over the side of the boat on them and catching a lot of fish doing that. Um, those fish are in and around some of the deeper trees, the brush piles from like 30 to 50 foot is where I've been catching them. Um, doing real well with that but table rock it's at like 920 um, it's about five five and a half foot over full pool um, what to just kind of see you know with the weather if we're gonna get a bunch of rain here um, kind of bring that lake down hopefully it comes down a little bit I'd like the lake to get back down to to normal pool some of that offshore structure by is gonna pick up still a lot of fish like really shallow um, using the flooded bushes um, but if, if the lake would just get down to like its normal pool, I think that offshore bite would get even better. It's just right now with the shad spawn still going on, you got a lot of fish that are up shallow still. Um, but the next two weeks are forecasting 90 degree days. So I think that offshore brush pile uh, ledge bite is going to get a lot better here um, by the end of the month. It usually does. Um, so we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, this weekend, um, Father's Day weekend, um, got both Saturday and Sunday open right now uh, if you'd like to book a guide trip uh, I'm sure we'll go out we'll catch a bunch of fish um, the next weekend I've got um, Sunday the 26th booked up but uh, I've got this weekend and then Saturday next week available if someone would like to book a guide trip get out learn a little bit more about how to fish deep water and use your electronics on Table Rock Lake uh, that's really starting to take off um, also wouldn't mind getting out there and doing some trout fishing if somebody wanted to book a trout trip. Um, so anyways, guys, just want to give you guys a quick report and some of the things that have been working on, working for me, um, out here on Tini Como, Table Rock Lake. Uh, if you're looking to hire a guide, come down here, um, just reach out me at Breaking Bass Guide Service. I'd like to get you out on the water, just 314-562-3332. Until next time, good, uh, guys, take it easy and good fishing.